Miranda. Welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, become a member of the Slashed Squad. So I look at the new year as kind of like a blank slate. It's time to start fresh, go into a new period of life with a positive outlook. And while a lot of people like to do their cleaning out or decluttering for spring cleaning, I feel like New Year's cleaning is kind of more my style. So over the past few months, as I've been going through my makeup routine, I have kept telling myself I really need to de-stash my lipstick drawers. If you saw my updated makeup collection when I first moved in and like set up my beauty room, which I will link below and put it in a card, my lipstick drawers looked awesome. They were so organized and it was easy for me to find colors. But of course, in just a few short months, my collection has expanded and I gave up trying to keep it organized. Part of that reason was I ran out of space and like the actual little organizers that are in my drawer, which you will see. So I kind of just started throwing stuff in there and it just looks awful. But also I know that there are products in there that could probably stand to get rid of. Today we're only going to be doing my lipstick drawer as opposed to like liquid lipsticks. Um, lipsticks are going to take long enough, but if you do want me to make another video doing liquid lipsticks, that one also needs to be de-stashed and it is way massive, so that's why it needs to be a completely separate video. I have reached out to a few women's shelters and women's centers here in Southern Nevada to see if they will take the products that they are able to sanitize. You can sanitize lipstick tubes pretty easily. You can cut off the top and you can spray it with alcohol. So if you want to see this huge lipstick decluttering de-stash, just keep watching. All right, so these two are my lipstick and then liquid lipstick drawers. Let's tackle lipstick first. So this one's not as bad as I probably made it out to be. So here we have most of them are still pretty organized, but then right here we kind of got a little messy. Right here we're a little bit messy. So let's just go through this and see if I even want half of these anymore. Um, let's just dive right in. Also, this has become a catch-all drawer because there's like this extra space here. So a lot of times, you know, if I have highlighters that won't fit or whatever, I just throw them in here and then I think that's what's contributing to this drawer being kind of a catch-all because I just cleared out before I even started filming three highlighters that were not supposed to be in here. All right, let's uh, get the swatch and arm ready. So the first thing I'm gonna pull out is this Kate Rimmel lipstick. This is in the shade 47, and I actually really enjoy this one. It is kind of like a nudie mauve, but with a warmth to it, which I don't have a lot of because most of my mauves are cool toned. So I think I'm going to keep this one, and let's hope that's not just the theme of de-stashing, is I'm just gonna keep all of them. Okay, so next I'm pulling out this NYX Butter Lipstick, and I think I just opened this because I was looking for a specific shade, and I found this, and it didn't really swatch exactly how it looked on the outside. See how it's like, it looks a little bit more red than the packaging. The packaging makes it look like it's gonna be a brick or some kind of like mauve, or not mauve but like brownie shade, and it swatches really red. So, I don't know about this, and I really have only used this a couple times, so I might, this is gonna be like the maybe pile because that color doesn't really excite me. Okay, next we have a liquid lipstick that I threw in here because my liquid lipstick drawer is insane. So I'm just gonna keep that for later. So here we have an Avon lipstick. And I think again, this is one that I opened because I was looking for a specific shade. This looks like the shade I was trying for my wedding. Let's look at it here. Ooh, that's a really pretty like ballet slipper type shade. It looks a little bit more pink in the camera than it is here. It's a little bit more muted on the skin. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. This is the new Gigi Hadid uh, lipstick from Maybelline in McCall. This looks like a lighter nude. Let's see if it's close to this shade. Oh no, it's way lighter. Okay, so, so far we don't have too many similarities. Um, these two are kind of similar, but this one's definitely more of a beige. Here we have another Avon. This one's clearly gonna be a darker shade. Let's see, oh my God, oh Lord. Well, I feel like I kind of missed the boat on wearing this for fall. Ooh, that's gorgeous though, and it's so pigmented. This is clearly not going well because I just wanna keep them all. Although I have to say that like this section in the front are newer added lipsticks because that's why they're here and not already organized. So I guess I can't really, uh, 
blame myself. Okay, here's a NYX matte. Now this kind of looks like it's going to be similar here. Oh, wow. We have a very close match, except this one's a lot more cool toned. Interesting. And then these are pretty similar too, but this one is a little bit deeper. I'm going to put this in the maybe pile again because I feel like this coolness might not work for the looks that I've been really gravitating towards, so we'll put that in the maybe pile. Here we've got a pixie lipstick. Looks like another neutral. Oh. Uh, I think this is going to be a donate slash give to a friend because this kind of looks similar to these two, but it was clearly not as pigmented on one swipe, so. All right, more Avon. I think I just got like an Avon shipment and that's why I was just trying all these out. Ooh, that's pretty. Hmm, I don't know if I see myself wearing that. I feel like I'd wear the deep one more so than this like pinky one, so I'm gonna go ahead and give that one away. And another Pixie, this is in Bitten Rose. This is pretty, but again, looks like stuff I already have. Yeah, again, this isn't really that pigmented, so I'm not not feeling it. I don't like having to keep rubbing to get the color payoff I want. And our last Avon one, this is like a deep brown, perhaps? Oh, snap, I love that. That's really pretty. Okay, keeping that. <laughs> okay, so I have these hard candy, heavy metal matte lipsticks. I think some of them are gonna be keeps because they're more bold, but I think the more neutral shades I am gonna go ahead and donate because this wasn't my absolute favorite um, formula. So if I already have a shade, then I don't necessarily want it in this formula. That's actually a really pretty purple. And it's cool and muted, so that one might be a good one to keep. But I see a neutral here that I'm probably gonna go ahead and donate. Yeah, this one is just like, this one looks a lot like this, but it's very much a more dry formula. So this is gonna go ahead and be donated. This one is black and it's so hard to find a good matte black lipstick, but this one's not awful. It's very dry though. I mean, this formula is a lot more dry than I remember it being. This one might be a toss because I don't think my friends would want it. And I really feel like the formula has dried up a lot since I opened it for the first time. So, so this one was kind of cool. This was like a money green. So let's see how this goes. You know, again, this feels like it's dried up a lot. That one's gonna have to be tossed too. This purple one that I swatched earlier felt still like it had some integrity to it, but this one's like a deep, deep purple. Again, look at how chalky it is. Oh man, that sucks because when I first got these, they were they had creaminess to them. And then this was a blue from the same, that turned gray, question mark? There's like no blue left in there. That's weird. Wow, these like didn't store well. All right, so let's keep going in this side section here. Um, I have J Manual lipsticks, which are actually the bomb. I talked a little bit about them in my uh, collection video. They are so pigmented and smooth and long lasting. That's a gorgeous coral color. I'm definitely gonna keep that for spring coming up. I that we've thrown out four lipsticks. I feel a little bit better about keeping the ones I like. Um, I've got some more J Manuals here. Let's check them out. This one is like this beautiful orchid color, which is actually perfect because the new shade of the year is Radiant Orchid, right? Or something like that. Ooh, God, it is so freaking pretty. Okay, so for sure, keeping that one. So here is a red. Now, th this is the thing. I really do have to choose which reds I love because I just have so many of them. But I do freaking love this formula. This is a really hot red. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try donating this one because I, I know I have reds that I enjoy more and I'm not a huge fan of really warm reds on me. They make my teeth look yellow. So I'll go ahead and donate this and some lucky person and we'll get it because it is a fantastic formula. All right, and then this last one's orange, which I think I'm just gonna go ahead and donate as well because orange looks great on some people. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> but see, that is like 
hella orange. All right, and the last J. Manuel one I have is in Spank, which is like a hot pink. Again, this is not a shade I wear a lot, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate. That's a very like Mean Girls Barbie pink. But I highly suggest you check out the J. Manuel lipsticks because they are really, really pigmented, creamy, long-lasting. I don't have anything bad to say about them. Next up to finish out this little section here are the e.l.f. Day to Night lipsticks, which, I mean, these are some of my favorites from e.l.f. in general just because I love the packaging and this is so travel friendly. Usually I'll just pack literally like all of my day to night lipsticks, which are four, and I have like enough shades to kind of cover any look that I want to do. So let's see. This one is called I Love Pinks. This is probably my least used, again, because I don't wear a lot of like fuchsia shades like that. It's really cute though. Definitely use this side more, which is a more muted shade. I swatched it here, and you can tell that it kind of goes along with some of my other shades that I like. Um, this one I might donate slash give to a friend. There's still a lot of product on there because they were small to begin with, um, but I'm just never gonna use this side up, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate this. Okay, this one is called The Best Berries. I think I've definitely, you can tell, like I've really used this one up. This one's like a nice mauve neutral, which looks like a lot of other ones that I have, I won't lie, especially like these two look very similar. Ooh, that looks similar to that too. Hmm, reevaluating. So maybe I should toss this and just keep this and remember that I have it. <laughs> I believe it was this color, Avon. And I haven't used it a lot. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate this Avon color because it's less used and keep the e.l.f. All right, this one is like a super nude duo from the line. This side I don't feel like I've used a lot because it's like really light. It's not too bad. Oh, that looks a lot like this row here. Did I end up keeping this one? Because look. And then this side is a little bit darker. Ooh, so that looks a lot like that, but I don't remember what that was. <laughs> Alright, the last e.l.f. duo is the um, Red Hot Reds, and again, we're gonna have to be pretty uh, judgmental when it comes to reds, because I don't want to keep too many. Ooh, that's pretty, and it's neutral. It doesn't look too hot. And then we've got a darker one. Ooh! That is gorgeous. Okay, so we're gonna keep both of these because I don't see another brick red in this line and we got rid of that other hot red. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one as well. Next we have a little Winky Lux bullet and I just love the packaging of this so I probably, I'm not gonna get rid of it, but it is another like mauve pink. It's a pretty color and I don't see, this one's actually pretty similar to here. So these two are similar. Oh, that was the NYX one that we got rid of, maybe? So we got rid of this lipstick, so I'm gonna keep this one, plus the tube is just freaking adorable. Then we have one of their matte lip crayons. This is in the shade Glossé, which is the shade that comes in the Sephora birthday gift. So I'm probably gonna keep this because it's really freaking pretty, but again, it's that cool mob that I really didn't think I had a lot of. So let's see, does this match anything? That kind of matches this, but we, oh, that's the Maybelline one, hmm. Well, because this is high end, I'm gonna keep this and the Maybelline one because clearly I don't use Bite in a lot of my videos. It's more high end brand, so that will give me the option of making videos with the Maybelline one, but doing this with personal looks. Okay, so here we've got one of the uh, Makeup Forever lipsticks. This is the one that I wore on my wedding day, which is called uh, grayish beige, I think. It's C105. So I'm definitely gonna keep that because the Mems, like in between these two makes this. It's a little bit on this side, but ooh, that looks really similar. That's an elf shade. Ooh, I think we got dupes, y'all. <gasps> so I got too excited. I thought this was gonna be like an exact dupe, but here's the Makeup Forever one and here's the elf, so you can tell that they're completely different. <laughs> Next, I have these two MAC lipsticks and they're still in the box. So I think I'm gonna be keeping these because uh, they are new and I haven't used them, although these would be easy to get rid of. Beautiful, this is Saint Germain, which is clearly like a bubblegum pink, but if I'm gonna keep any bubblegum pink, even if I don't wear it that often, it's gonna be the MAC one. And then this one that I haven't opened is Candy Yum Yum, which is, again, another very, very classic shade. And actually, wait, I think I might have two Candy Yum Yums. Wait a second, I do have two Candy Yum Yums. <gasps> so maybe I'll do a giveaway then, because I clearly don't need two if it's not a shade I wear a lot. Yeah, that's a brand new, ooh! Look at that, gorgeous. Okay, so you guys, 
Maybe I'll do a giveaway, so stay till the end and I'll figure out how I'll give one to you. Well, that's interesting. Okay, so let's keep going then with my MAC collection. This one is uh, Vegas Volt, which is this gorgeous, like, orangey shade. Again, this is one that it looks like I haven't actually ever even swatched, so let's go ahead for it. Ooh, that is pretty. That's another, like, bright coral that's gonna come in handy for spring, and of course, because it's Vegas, I gotta keep it. Next is Rebel, which is this beautiful dark purple shade, and that's another classic. I'm to go ahead and keep that as well although that looks a lot like this shade too but we got rid of this one so I'll keep that look at this I feel like swatch oh my god I just realized some of these stain ah uh, okay well it's gonna be interesting okay this one is a uh, snob another I have a lot of like those classic Mac shades that really um, are iconic so that's snob it's look it's Translating a little bit more purple in the camera, but it's more of like actually these look really similar This one's more violet though. This one's more pink Now that I'm like swatching into my arm hair. I'm gonna have to take some of these off. Okay. Oh, I love this shade this makeup forever This is the color c502. I believe it's one of their. Oh, no, it wasn't I th thought this was limited edition, but I think it might be uh Permanent. It's like this bluish periwinkle and I just love keeping shades like these because they're not common you know they're not like super mainstream um oh here's another mac one we missed this is all fired up oops sorry that it's like right on the crease of my hand it's like a pinky red and we don't have anything similar to that so i'll keep that as well probably safe to say i'm gonna keep most of my mac lipsticks and then this one's a really orangey shade that one is Lady Danger. So it's like reddish orange, but more wearable than that. That one's like carrot orange. So I think I'll go ahead and keep that as well. And oh, this is one of Bite Beauty's duos too. So they did it first, actually, and I collected most of them. They're, um, they're cream lipstick duos, and they came in like the stocking stuffer section of Sephora. So I collected these because I loved them. They were only $12 each, and you got like, you know, a luxury formula for cheap, and you had enough to like try it out, and it's perfect for traveling. So these I collected first, and then the elf ones came out. So let's go ahead and swatch some of these, but I don't foresee me giving up these either. Oh, here's another bright pink that I'm probably never gonna wear though. Okay, so that actually looks a lot like, where did Candy Yum Yum go? Oh, I didn't swatch Candy Yum Yum. That kind of looks like it though. The other side is this orange. So I actually might give this away because I'm not gonna use that. This is like a nice violet that I probably would wear. That one's nice. I don't think I kept anything like that yet. And then, oh, this is a nice magenta. Yeah, I'll keep that that I definitely see myself wearing. Okay, we're gonna have to, I'm gonna wipe my arm because I don't want these to stain too much and then it's gonna compromise swatches later on. This was the best I can do. So we still have a little bit of staining, but hopefully the swatches that go over it will be strong enough for you to see. Um, okay, so we're still swatching these Bite Beauty ones. This one's definitely a more neutral. Hmm, not not quite a fan of that one. The thing is, these are really well loved and I don't really see myself wearing those shades or I have those shades and recognize them. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get rid of this to a friend. The thing is, is these are also very old. So I might just be at that point where they need to be tossed. What the heck? Oh, well. <laughs> Womp, womp, womp. And I feel like we kept something like that already. These are also very like stiff right now. It's hard for me to bring them up. Oh my God, that is really bright. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and toss that one too. It's really stiff. This was a Revlon HD lipstick, Ultra HD lipstick. I think I got this at Big Lots clearly for $2, probably for a post, but eh. It's whatever. I think I'm gonna go ahead and donate this. I probably used it once to do a post. Let's finish the Makeup Forevers. These I'm probably all gonna keep because they are part of my high-end collection and I really enjoy the formula. And some of them are limited edition, which I tend to try to collect here. Um, let's see, ooh, that's really pretty. But I will keep, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep my Makeup Forevers because I know I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna toss them. I have two Marc Jacob Red shades. Let's see which one I like, because I, I 
probably don't need to. This one looks pretty well loved. This one is called Oh Miley. That's pretty. It's blue based, so that'll make my teeth look white. This one is called Goddess. These look almost exactly the same. What? This one's a little bit more blue based though. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and donate Goddess. I don't need to. Okay, and then this is a Bessemer lipstick. This is one of my first like dark oxblood lipsticks. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, it's still got it. I'm keeping that. Okay, so here's a Maybelline lipstick that's one of the metallics that's mostly over here, but it just got separated from the group. This is called Silk Stone, which is a really interesting shade. It's like a grayish beige kind of thing. I don't know. I don't really see myself wearing this though, and it's clearly almost new besides when I swatched it, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate that. Okay, so I have a bunch of like City Color and off-brand lipsticks here. Let me just go ahead and go through them. Lana looks like a deep red. Do we need another red? Ooh, it's very dry. I'm gonna go ahead and donate that. Let's see, what about Cami? Ooh, this is a pretty purple, but it looks kind of like this. Yeah, ooh, <gasps> dupes, dupes, dupe alert. That's like the same freaking shade. Okay, I'm gonna keep that just literally for the dupe post. <laughs> okay, what is this? Oh, this uh, <laughs> lipstick stayed in the tube up here, so we're gonna go ahead and toss that. And here's a Chloe, which is like a nude, but I can feel it shaking, and we're gonna toss that too. And Jenny is another red. Let's see, do we need it? It's pretty basic, let's donate it. Next we have these three bare minerals. However, I know these are really old. I got these in some kind of like set a long time ago. I used them on one of my friends for her wedding a while ago. So I'm kind of torn because I know I haven't used them a lot per se, but they're all used and they're all pretty old, so I think these are just gonna have to be tossed. Next we have two shades from Iman. I did a whole video about Iman Cosmetics, which is um, geared towards women of color. I think I'm gonna keep this one unswatched and just go ahead and donate it because it looks like it hasn't been swatched at all. It has like a little um, like embossment in it and I'd like to make sure that there are some that I can for sure donate. And this one I've definitely swatched before because the embossment is like filled in basically. Holy Toledo, that is dark. I might keep that just because it's an interesting shade. Okay, so let's go through the rest of these Maybelline shades because there are definitely some that I'm never ever gonna wear. This one is, again, one of the metallic ones in Molten Bronze. This is an interesting shade. Oh, actually, that's cool. I like that. All right, we'll keep you. This one is in white gold, which I never see myself wearing because it's just like frost, like from the 90s. You can't even see it. So I'll go ahead and donate that. This is Serpentine. It's green. Do we care? I mean, am I ever gonna wear that? It's kind of cool though. Again, like I said, I like keeping the off color shades just because you never know when someone's gonna make it again. This one's like, a major gold. That would be really neat for like, ooh, that would be cool for like a St. Patrick's Day look. Okay, I'll keep that. This one's hot lava, so it's like a metallic red. Let's see if I need it. Definitely not. I don't like that at all. And this one is Copper Spark. This one's interesting. Let's try to swatch it in between to save room. Ooh, that's pretty. I wish that was a eyeshadow though. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna look great on my lips. I know I've swatched all of these, but I don't know, tastes change. I've swatched these on my lips. We'll go ahead and donate that. This is like a normal Maybelline one. This isn't called Blushing Beige. It's kind of like a run of the mill. Oh wow, that's really light. I think I'm gonna go ahead and donate that. That's too light for me. Gun Metal, is this a blue? Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep, ooh. Like freaking gorgeous, right? Uh, am I ever gonna wear this though? No, I'm not, I'm gonna donate it. And then this one is Smoked Silver, which I remember really enjoying because it's got like a purpley vibe. Yeah, that I'm keeping for sure. Okay, so we're doing well. Okay, this one's a Physician's Formula lipstick that was part of their 80th anniversary collection, which I actually really, really, really loved. 
and it's got a really nice formula. There you see, it's like a nice everyday. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. This is, oh, another Iman. Uh-oh, it's a red and it's never been swatched. I'm gonna go ahead and donate it just so, again, I have something I can for sure donate if they don't end up wanting to take the um, gently used ones. Oh, this is one of my favorite reds. So this is for sure gonna be kept, but I just wanna swatch it for you. It's the Gwen Stefani and Urban Decay Vice Lipstick. Hello, yes. Is it a vice or it's just... A lipstick, I don't know, whatever. Um, what is this? An e.l.f. lipstick. Oh, this is one of their Beautifully Bare, I believe. Let's swatch it in between. That doesn't excite me. There's still a lot of product left, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate that. I feel like making the decision really fast of whether I'm gonna donate it helps because I'm not sitting there like making excuses of why I need to keep it. So this is another Physician's Formula one. Mm -hmm. It's pretty, but I think I'll donate this one too. There's still a lot of product left, and uh, I don't know. I feel like I have that shade over and over again, so go ahead and donate that. All right, so we got two more Physicians Formula ones. This is like a nude-ish, pinkish shade, or like a petal shade, actually. I'm going to keep that one. That one's pretty. And then this one is another kind of purpley shade. Oh, wait, no, this is red. What the heck? It looks purple in the tube. Let's move on to our Rimmels. So we did a Kate earlier today and we're doing another Kate. This one is 107. This one looks like a deep red. It is. It's not exciting. I'm gonna donate it. All right, so these are the Rimmel um, the matte one lipsticks or whatever. I really enjoy this matte formula, although th these are kind of hard to find. Oh my gosh, what happened to this? It's like all backwards in the tube. Oh no, I think this one's broken. Yeah, this one's, yeah, this one's broken. All right, and these are all very well loved, so I'm not sure if any of these are gonna get donated. Oh, actually, this red doesn't look like I used it all that much. Let's swatch it. It's a very matte red. That's beautiful. This is like a bright pink. I don't, I don't know about this one. I think I'm gonna donate this one too. Yeah. Let's get rid of it. Here's another neutral shade. This one I remember really loving. Ugh, that is gorgeous. I have to keep that one. Let's see what this one is. Ooh, this one looks a lot like this one, but I donated this one, so maybe I'll keep this. Okay, these, these look the same too. I'll keep that one. This one is like a hot, hot pink. Again, hardly used, probably beyond swatching. It's pretty though. Call the shots. I think I'm gonna keep that one. Neutral, let's see, you're gonna have to get rid of this swatching arm again. That one's really pretty. Oh, look at, I like, love these nude beiges, you can tell. All right, we are almost done, everyone. I had to charge my battery because this was taken forever. All right, we still have a few more Rimmel shades to go through. This one is a really nice brown that I've worn a few times. I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep that because it is a shade that I don't really have in a lot of other brands. This one is like straight up purple. Let's see. That one's really pretty. Ugh, I'll have to keep that too. Oh, this one's a deeper brown. Ooh, I might keep this one instead of the lighter brown because I feel like it would pop on my skin better. Oh, I think I'm gonna keep this darker brown and toss this one. This is their moisturizing lipstick in Blackberry. Oh, oh, it's really dried out. Okay, we're gonna have to toss that. Let's see, this one is a red, red carpet. This one's really pretty, let's see. Yeah, you know, these ones I feel like are kind of crumbly and dried out because I've had them for so long. Here's an orange. This one I think is the one I used in my last Halloween tutorial. This one's actually still pretty creamy. So I'll keep one orange for the purpose of anything I need is an orange. This one's crazy cranberry. Oh, this looks like it's changed colors. Look at the color on the bottom and look at the color of the tube. That's weird. It's weird, why is the tube like dusty? Okay, and then this last one is Wine Tour. I remember really liking this one. That one's pretty, I'll keep that. Okay, then we have another Pixie. I wasn't really impressed with the f pigmentation on the other ones. This one definitely has more though. I like that shade, why don't we keep one Pixie? Oh my God, this I definitely need to toss. This is from The Balm. It's my first The Balm lipstick in my Bills Be Paid. This is easily five years old. I really need to toss that. Surprisingly, 
It's got a lot of pigment to it, but I think this is definitely past its prime. I wouldn't feel comfortable donating that. All right, the rest is mostly Katy Perry lipsticks. We have a, a few more e.l.f., but then the rest are like the Katy Perry CoverGirl lipsticks. Here's a really pretty one, Rosy Go Round. Oh, I don't think this has ever been used. Okay, I'll go ahead and donate that just so that we've got another unused in there. This one's pretty, called In the Nude. This one's another brown. Oh gosh, things are falling. This is like a lighter brown. Interesting, I don't think it's gonna look very good on me. I'm gonna go ahead and donate that. Okay, so now let's go into this. Now, this is one of my favorite blacks. Oh my God, this, I would not be able to donate. This is like really well used, okay. This is a really nice matte black from the drugstore. Since we tossed the other one, I'll go ahead and keep this. This is Ready to Pounce, which I kind of love just because it has my cat's name in it. Oops. Ooh, this is pretty. Apricot. I forgot about these. Like, I never wear them, but they're actually really nice. Ooh, that might be a little too light for my skin tone. I'm gonna go ahead and donate that. Oh, here's another e.l.f. one. This was Party in the Buff. Mmm, I feel like I've had this one for a while, too. Yeah, that's light, crumbly, and very old. I'll go ahead and toss that. Magenta Mink. Let's take a look. You can see these stains. That one's nice. That one's actually a very wearable bright pink. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. Oh, another e.l.f. one. This one is Coral Cutie. Oh, this feels dry already. Oh, you know, it's not that bad. Okay, I'm gonna keep that. This is Kitty Purry. Let's check it out. Let's try doing the hand now. Oh, that's a nice purpley mauve. Okay, I'll keep that. Couture. The thing with these is they smell pretty perfumed. That's nice. That doesn't look like anything we've kept, I don't think. We have Cat Call, which is like this really pretty deep magenta. I feel like I'm not gonna wear this a lot, and I don't wear it a lot, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate it, even though it's really pretty. Parisian Pink is like a dusty pink. I feel like we've got that shade a lot already. I'm gonna go ahead and donate it. Maroon Meow, let's check this out. Hmm, not really feeling it. Let's donate that, actually, I don't know, can I donate it? The outside's really stained. Pink Paws, now this one I really don't think I'm gonna keep because I don't wear that type of pink a lot. This one's Cosmo Kitty, which is lavender, and I am a huge fan of lavender lipsticks. This one's pretty dry though, which concerns me. I think I'm gonna have to toss this one even though it was a fave back in the day. And lastly, the last one in the drawer is Sphinx. Let's do it, y'all. That's pretty. It looks very similar to that one, but I donated that one, so keeping it. <laughs> Whew! That was a doozy. That was a lot of lipstick. Like I said, I also need to destash my liquid lipsticks because that drawer is massively unorganized and the collection is massive in itself. So that'll take a whole nother video if you want that. To win the MAC Candy Yum Yum, all you gotta do is be a subscriber to this channel and then leave a comment below telling me your all time favorite lipstick ever. Details of the giveaway will be in the description, so be sure to check that out before you enter. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, become a member of the Slash Squad. I make new videos every Saturday and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!